Hi, this is James from tracymat.co.uk. I'm just going to give you a quick uh, demo video of uh, Ving Vlingo Plus. Um, the application is available on uh, all platforms, I believe. Uh, oh, I'm not sure about Windows Phone 7 at the moment, but I'm sure it will be in time. Um, as you can see here, I use it on my BlackBerry and uh, it works very well. So if we just jump into the, uh, the application itself, as you can see here on screen, um, there's not a great deal of information, but uh, the, the, the top one is what can I say, and it just gives you some examples of the, the types of commands that, that Vlingo will actually do. The next option is uh, tell a friend, and that's straightforward. You can you can send a, a text message or an email to to somebody to uh, to to you know tell them about Vlingo and, and what a nice service it is. And then the bottom one is uh, turn in Safe Reader on or off. And what, what Safe Reader will do is it will automatically uh, read out your emails and text messages. So perfect if you're you're in the car, um, you can hear emails and text messages without even uh, looking at the phone. Uh, if we jump into the options very quickly, uh, as you would imagine there's a, a few tweaks you can make here, uh, fairly basic stuff, you can change the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the alert to uh, or the voice to a, a male or female, um, activate Bluetooth, that sort of thing. You can also change the amount of words that the email will actually read you back, so um, you can either have 30 or, or 50 words, um, you can change the, the search engine or toggle between Google and uh, Yahoo. And uh, you can log into your Facebook and, uh, uh, and and Twitter, that sort of thing. So, just to give you an example of how this works on the BlackBerry, you assign your uh, convenience key to, to Vlingo, and essentially what happens is when you press that button, it will activate, and uh, it will expect you to, uh, to 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 say something. So, uh, first thing I'll show you is how you can search on the on the internet. So, if we press the button and speak. And it doesn't want to work now. There we go. Search pizza, North London. Oops, that didn't work. Let's try again. Search pizza, North London. So as you can see, it's, it it takes a while for um, to get all your voice commands absolutely perfect. But as you can see, it does work. And obviously, it'll open up the, uh, um, the the web browser and uh, and, and give you the results. Um, another thing you can do, which is particularly good if you're driving, not that we can condone uh, using your phone while driving, but you can actually make phone calls um, just by again pressing the button. So um, I've made up a, a fictitious character in my contact. So let's let's try and phone him. Dial Jesus. There we go, and that's uh, now automatically uh, phoning Jesus. Although the number doesn't exist uh, as he's fi fictitious. Um, we can also send text messages using uh, 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 using Flingo and uh, message Jesus. There we go, and then you, you can you can either then type the uh, sorry no that did fix the object type, and you can either press the button again and fill in the uh, speech speech uh, uh, box, or you can do it from scratch like so. Message Jesus, hello, how are you? And it should automatically fill in the speech. There we go, and it's even put a question mark at the end of the uh, the word, which is quite nice. Uh, so you can either press the button. So you can either press the send button or you can um, press your convenience key again and say the word send and uh, that will send the message. We can do the same with email as well. Um, email Matt Davis, subject, you smell, message, hello, this is a test. There we go, perfect. And again, we can either press the send button or we can just say send. He doesn't really smell. 
Um, next up, we've got some uh, Facebook and Twitter integration. Um, so let's try one. Update Facebook. This is a test. And then we go. Facebook. This is a test. And again, we can either press update or uh, we can do it by voice. And the same applies to Twitter. Update Twitter. Testing, testing. There we go. Works a treat. So th there's many applications on the BlackBerry that you can also um, uh, you can open just by using Voice. Some of the uh, third-party ones, see, I've got Evernote here, that doesn't work. Um, but for example, if you want to open the calendar, open calendar. Come on, chop chop. There we go. So essentially that's Flingo. Um, there is a free version for the BlackBerry called Flingo, funnily enough. Um, I've actually got the uh, the premium version which is called Flingo, Flingo Plus. And it was £19.99 which is a lot of money. However, there are a lot of benefits to, to, to using this. Um, I'm not sure how much it is on uh, the other platforms, iOS and Android, but uh, um, I tweeted about this over the weekend. I got some feedback from, uh, from other users on other platforms and it seemed to work very well. So uh, yeah, that's Flingo. Go check it out. Thanks for watching.